Hello there, my name is Fred. In this video, I will show you how I turn this sound. into this. The Aegis pad is made with two layers. Each one has a very distinctive sound. Layer 1 is very steady and gentle, like an organ. Whereas layer 2 is richer in the high range and almost sounds like a string ensemble. So let's see how it's done. First step, get these bagpipes in tune. I choose to go with the original sound, tune in G. My goal was to keep what is in tune inside sound, so I searched for the bass frequencies of a G note. I applied a very narrow EQ on three G frequencies, 49, 98 and 196 Hz, and cut almost everything else. To create the different octaves needed for the instrument, I pitched up plus 12, plus 24 and plus 36 semitones, the original sound, and offset the EQ to follow the octave rise. Each sound on a track or track in a track stack. To create the first layer of the pad, I added several effects on the track stack. First one, this very precise and free EQ plugin called QRange. It's here to do the job a second time, keep G frequencies and filter the rest. Then two EQ, Vintage Console EQ and Vintage 2 EQ. Then this great reverb, Chroma Verb, with this very long decay and no dry signal. And finally Proximity, a cool and free tool to manage the depth of your sound. That's basically everything for layer 1, let's move to layer 2. I sent layer 1 into a bus with a distortion, a beat crusher and a reverb. Then this bus goes to another bus, this time with the Apple Pitch plugin at 1 octave up, 2 stereo delays and a reverb. I kept the volume on this bus quite low, but it helps to create some high range. I automated the bus sendings for more evolution and isolated the two buses, here is how it sounds. I put more EQ on that to make the eye range more shiny, and the second layer is ready. At this point, I found that only 4 samples per layer for this instrument was too few, so I repeated the exact same process with the original sound tuned in C. So we have all the samples, time to build the EXS24 instrument. All the samples are in place, carefully looped. The samples of layer 2 are a little slow to start, so I offset the start point to the beginning of this interesting string sound. The two layers have different attack and release values, layer 2 attacks slower and have a longer release than layer 1. It creates a more complex feeling to the ensemble. I wanted this pad to work like this. Modwheel adds some layer 2 to layer 1. An expression channel controls the overall volume. Basically, that works like a Spitfire Labs instrument, so if you used to use Labs, it should feel quite the same. So to do that, I set the velocity range at 0 to 127 for layer 1, 65 
to 127 for layer 2. Then I set the mode wheel to control the sample selection and increase the value of the crossfade here. Then I set the MIDI controller number 11 to control the volume and it's done. Finally, I try to do something with the stereo panning of each sound. The main idea is to pan samples across the range of the instrument. And because layer 2 sounds like a string ensemble, I decided to pan the samples like it. Low range to the right and high range to the left. Layer 1 is panned in reverse, low range to the left and high range to the right. It's a simple but nice idea because it helps to hear all the details of each layer, creating more complexity and a richer tone. I was procrastinating with this newly created instrument, trying to push the sound into darkness, so I put some heavy processing on the track. First one is step effects to slice the pad. Three tape delays with different delay times to create a chaotic rhythmic impression, some tape saturation to spice up the sound. Then smoothing everything with chroma verb and a little bit of EQ. Here is how it sounds. Then I send this into a bus with some apple pitch, more tape delay and saturation, and more reverb for a wider sound. The result is a quite interesting dark and gloomy version of the pad, so I baked this into an EXS24 instrument and called it Dark Ages Pad. I bounced separately the track and the bus and created the AXS24 instrument to work like the original Aegis pad. Mod will add some layer 2 and expression channel control main volume. So that's almost everything about these two pads. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.